Hi, my name is Anthony Kowazi. And I'm Zach Brady, and this is our artistic interpretation of the philosophy of mind. This is an artistic representation of the inverted spectrum and the phenomenal experience of colors. The experience associated with each color is a product of subjectivity and is only obtained through physical exposure and experience with the color itself. The drawing below signifies Mary's room and the inverted spectrum relating to what was discussed earlier in this semester. This drawing represents the notion of Mary being in a room of black and white, surrounded by colors of which she does not get the phenomenal experience from. Although she possesses all the background knowledge of the colors and their properties through objective inquiry, the question is whether this is enough to give her a phenomenal experience. This is meant to exemplify the notion that mere possession of the objective facts isn't sufficient enough to explain the subjective phenomenal experience a color has. The mixing of colors is meant to signify the subjectivity within the experience of colors and how the color in which we see is determined by who perceives it. In this section, I let the colors slowly fill the black and white room which exposes Mary to them for the first time. This represents the notion that in order to attain a subjective phenomenal feeling of a color, one has to physically be exposed to its properties. This is a collage intended to portray the past 25,000 years of our species contemplating the universe. Also, when we began the project, we had the idea in mind to try and induce phenomenological experiences through mixing colors combined with varying textures. However, since we are imperfect beings, there may be slight reinterpretations or misinterpretations of philosophical concepts. In this abstract art project, we notice Plato and Aristotle standing on what is an artistic repre representation of the earth. If you look closer, you will see Plato pointing into the sky. One. This symbolizes Plato's forms and is intended to show how our senses can easily deceive us. These forms are perfect equality. For instance, perfect triangles, squares, circles, or even the ideal form of man. We do not find anything in our universe other than what comes from within us. The question is, how do we know what these perfect ideas or forms are when we have never encountered them in the material world? Plato's theory of forms or theory of ideas asserts that non-material abstract forms or ideas and not the material world of change which is known to us through sensation, possess the highest and most fundamental kind of reality. Forms are the only true objects of study that can provide us with genuine knowledge. Those forms, however, can only be found through the mind. If you look up, you will see a small picture of a cave. This is Plato's allegory of the cave, and is a map on how philosophers should uncover the forms from the realm of the eternal and unchanging. Plato has Socrates describe a gathering of people who live chained to the wall of a cave all their lives, facing a blank wall. The people watch shadows projected on the wall from things passing in front of a fire behind them, and they begin to give names to these shadows. The shadows are as close as the prisoners get to viewing reality. He then explains how the philosopher is like a prisoner who is freed from the cave and comes to understand that the shadows on the wall do not make up reality at all, for he can perceive the true form of reality rather than the mere shadows seen by the prisoners. Eventually, the prisoner will be able to comprehend the forms through the mind only. Now we will shift over to Aristotle. Like Plato, Aristotle took the forms seriously. However, these forms were not in an eternal, unchanging realm but rather in the objects themselves. As we can see, Aristotle is holding his hand above the ground. All we have to do is pull out the forms from within. To do this, we must use Aris what Aristotle called essence. By essence, he meant the essence of an object, or in our case, the human essence is logic. 
Now as we move down to the bottom, we will see a black fluid. By using magnets, which we were able to learn about through our essence, we can pull out the forms within this fluid, which in this case is complete equality and perfect triangular spikes. We should look at this as a met metaphor and should not be thought of as true ideas from Aristotle. Sit here.